Taurus, what's up? It is I, New Tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader, and I'm here to do the general reading for the Tauruses. What's up, guys? I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for being here. This message could resonate for you if you have Taurus as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. Um, yeah, Taurus, what's going on with you? You guys tired? Like exhausted kind of feeling here. All right, let's see what's going on with you, Taurus. So I'm going to pull some energy cards for you guys first, and then we're going to do the tarot and some advice at the end, okay? So let's see. Let, let me just move this. Let's see what's going on, Taurus. Taurus, spirit, Taurus. Ooh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. What else, sir, for Taurus? Okay. Bottom of the deck is stress. Okay. Stress, decisions, and evaluation. All right, Taurus, let's talk. So, what you guys don't see coming is stress. <laughs> um, the Hermit and Virgo energy. It could be um, this stress you guys don't see coming. It just... It's basically stress from doing things that you don't have to do. But you're doing them anyway because whatever reason you have to do them. But Spirit is kind of saying here, um, to stop doing things that are unnecessary here, okay? It could be it could be with a lover here, but it doesn't have to be with the Hermit card. It could be a Virgo. Again, it doesn't have to be. But um, there's definitely the need here to, you know... Stop doing things that aren't not, that you that aren't necessary at the moment, okay? Because it could be you could be doing a lot here. Um, all right, then you have de decisions is the next card, bottom of the deck, okay? You're gonna need there's there's a decision that you have to make here. I feel like a lot of you um, aren't seeing clearly you you aren't seeing the decision clearly because. You haven't made a choice. You haven't decided what you want to do. Once you decide the way that you want to go, then the avenue opens up. But while you're in this decision in decision mode, you're not going to be able to see the decision clearly because that's how the universe works. They want you to first make a decision and then they'll show you the way. Okay. Um, and then you have evaluation. Find out what doesn't serve you. Reevaluate the situation. There's an energy here of reevaluating something here. Okay. Reevaluating a, a decision here that you have to make. Six of Wands, King of Pentacles, could have to do with your job, could have to do with your money here. Okay. I feel like that you I feel like you will be successful, and some of you guys think that you won't in a certain um in a certain situation, but you will. Okay. I also see you guys overcoming obstacles. That's also at the bottom of the deck. All right, but let's talk about, about your energy that you're in now. So you have wisdom here, all right? Knowledge gained through experiences from a wise counsel. I feel like you guys are learning a lot right now, okay? From either somebody that you trust or something like that. We're going to clarify and we're going to see. Five of Wands, Nine of Cups. This person could be different from you. Ooh, I just saw three, three, three. This person could be different from you. You could... um, You could have, like, arguments and disagreements with this person, but... You know, I feel like um, I feel like all of those arguments, all those conflicts that you went through with this person is giving you all this knowledge that you need right now. And you're realizing that, which is great. Then you have happiness. OK. New discoveries that lead to celebrations. Love yourself first. I feel there's something here that's making you happy here. Something that you just realized that, oh, this can make me happy. Ace of Cups. That's, it's loving yourself. I feel like you're getting this. Oh, when I pour love into myself, I feel good. There could be. It's just, there could also be a new love situation here for you guys that is making you giggity. All right, and then you have pay attention. Okay, look out for signs from the divine. Acknowledge red flags. I feel like spirit is talking to you through synchronicities right now. So pay attention through numbers that you see over and over again. Music that just comes out of nowhere, and you're like, wait, and it like makes you feel something. That's for a reason. Okay, Tar. All right, so let's clarify some of these. You guys are are you guys in your head about something? Get out of your head, okay? All right, wisdom spirit. Can you clarify wisdom? The moon. I feel like I feel like you guys are scared of all. all I feel like you guys of you guys are scared. 
to go through something here because maybe what, of what you went through in the past. Let me see. Page of Cups. I want to say Page of Cups. If that's an emotional message. Two of Wands, Page of Swords, and the Three of Cups here. Okay. I feel like I feel like you're learning a lot from your fa from your family, from your friends here. With the two of wands, it's like it's like you it's like you want to learn here. You want to learn. You could be researching things, looking things up here. And I feel like everything that you're looking up, everything that you're realizing could be a little scary. It could be, but that doesn't mean that it has to be bad, Taurus, right? Doesn't mean that it has to be bad. I feel like I feel like what you're finding out could like, you know, take you back a little bit, but embrace it. Embrace all this knowledge that you're learning now. Okay. Ooh. Happiness, Spirit. Can you clarify happiness? Why is happiness here? Happiness. Three of Pentacles. Okay. So I feel like there's a collaboration, a teamwork here. It could be a family that is making you happy right now at the moment. I feel like you pouring into that is making you happy. The two of wands, the wheel, and the magician. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you created um, a destiny for you. Fate. Okay, this collaboration, this teamwork that is making you very happy here. <sighs> you manifested this. This is something that you wanted, okay, with the with the magician here. And the two of wands, it's like you, 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 um, you're very determined. You're very determined to work as a team and collaborate with someone here, okay? Ace of Cups, Page of Cups, the Devil. Okay, this could be a love situation here, okay? Um, with the Devil card, just make sure that there's no negative energy, no negative thinking, no obsessions here, okay? That could be why you're scared because you don't want to become obsessed with this love here, with this connection. Um, because you could be a little like up in the air, but you could be a little you could be a little confused, but I feel like it's make I feel like the devil is making you confused because you could feel like you know attached to this person, all right, or you could just feel like you always want to know what this person is doing or always want to be with this person here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you don't have to be. Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I mean, it could be stressing you out here a little bit. It could be stressing you out here, but um. You know, you're, you're going to come out of this mental entrapment that you're putting yourself in, okay? But this team or this collaboration that's making you happy right now is, was me is meant to happen, all right? Pay attention, Spirit. Can you clarify? Pay attention. Knight of Wands, okay? So, I, I feel like... <sighs> I feel like there's a need for you guys to just trust your intuition, okay? Being perfect is an illusion. There's no such thing as being perfect. There's no such thing as every day being amazing. There's going to be bad days, Taurus. There's going to be bad days. And you cannot, you cannot not want the bad days here. With the devil card that you had, it's like you guys could be, um, you guys could be obsessed with, um, you know, every day being good and, and happy and great, you know, but it's like you can't. You can't. And I think Spirit's trying to tell you it's okay if things aren't okay. It's absolutely okay. Eight of Swords, Ace of Swords. Yeah, I mean, look at that. It's like you guys feel trapped. It's like you guys are you are having this anxiety because you guys are mentally trapping yourself in a love situation here. Page of Cups, the Devil. Yeah, I mean, the same cards came about just different, just in a different way. Uh, with the Magician here, it's like you guys created this energy with the wheel this was meant to be this is destiny here just the way you're looking at it needs to change i feel i feel i feel like you guys want something to be perfect um you want an energy or someone here to be perfect and it's like perfect perfection is an illusion taurus okay nothing is supposed to be perfect nobody can be perfect you're not even perfect right so you can't expect that from anybody else here um i also feel there's a need for you guys to just to have fun here have fun all right do things here that um that you love to do here with the nine of swords like you're stressing you're stressing okay because some of you guys could have anxiety right now but you are the one that's causing yourself to stress tars because the way you're looking at things you want something to be so perfect that you could be obsessing over the fact that you want it to be so perfect but nothing is perfect tartar 
sorry to burst to, to break your bubble you will have bad days and you will have good days nothing is ever perfect nothing all right you just have to be able to be strong enough to deal with the bad days okay and don't avoid how you feel either feel it because with the moon card some of you guys might be fearful of all this stuff that you're learning because you know it's, it's going to require you to maybe step out of your comfort zone and do something different or maybe maybe what you're learning isn't something that you're ready to find out right now okay i don't know what this here nothing i didn't say anything <laughs> taurus spirit taurus Taurus, taurus have to know at this moment taurus thank you what else for taurus thank you spirit what else for taurus Okay. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Magician in reverse. Okay. All right, Taurus, let's talk. So the first card that you got is the Knight of Pentacles here, okay? So I feel like there's something that's moving very slow here, okay? Um, you're, there's something that you're very committed to here, but you're moving very slow towards it excuse me we're going to clarify we're going to see and then you have the page of sorry guys yawn and a burp <laughs> you have the page of swords so i feel like there's gonna be some communication here a message can be sent to you here we're going to clarify you could also be learning something with the page of swords we're going to clarify then you have the empress all right a lot of you guys could be pregnant could be trying to get pregnant um but if that's not what it is then it's you guys are creating something here Okay, we're going to clarify. Bottom of the deck is Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, and the Magician. I feel like people could be trying to manipulate you here. Um, people could be trying to manipulate you here, and you are going to have to stand your ground here and defend yourself and create boundaries towards these people here. Because there is some movement. This is going to happen quick. Quick, 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 quick. And you're going to realize, like, wait, why are... I, 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 it's like, I feel like... I feel like you're going to know. Four of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Five of Cups. Yeah, I mean, conflict, disagreements. You will be moving into calmer waters eventually, but when you realize that somebody could be just trying to make you do something that, that um, you know, manipulation energy, that's not going to make you feel so hot. It's not. You're not going to be so happy about that. Um, but... I feel like that opens up the gate. This is what I always tell people, right? When somebody does something to us, I feel like it, that that's, yeah, it's going to hurt, obviously, right? But look at it as, oh, I dodged a bullet, right? Now you know this person's intentions. Now you know what this person got to say and how this person's going to come and react to you, right? It could be a Virgo because you have the Knight of Pentacles here or a Capricorn. All right. Doesn't have to be, though, but. I'm just saying, it could be a Leo as well, okay, Sagittarius. Um, yeah, but I, I feel like you're going to know this person is going to try to, it's just trying to manipulate this energy here. I feel like you know that, okay? Um, and I feel like you're going to cut that shit off. I feel, I feel like, I feel like you're, you're already going to be protecting your energy against this person. I want to clarify these um, just to see what's going on with this energy here because I don't like this. I don't. So we're going we're gonna to see what's going on, all right? So let's clarify some of these cards, Tar Tar. All right. Knight of Pentacles, Spirit. Can you clarify the Knight of Pentacles? You guys are very patient for something. The Hierophant. Wow. That's you. You're here showing yourself commitment. I mean, <laughs> showing yourself support. Um, Ace of Coins, Knight of Coins, and the Three of Wands. <sighs> you know what, Taurus? I like this. I feel like I feel like you guys are um you guys are very patient towards this commitment. There's something here with the hierophant. It could be religious, it could be spiritual, or it could just be a commitment that you are very um like it's wrapped up in your energy so much. It's like you it's like you breathe and 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 eat it and drink it. Like it's just it's just I just 
it I don't know how to explain it I don't know how to explain it I do apologize for that but I do see you guys being very patient and waiting for something that you want here with the Hierophant it could be a commitment here a long-term marriage here um, with the Three of Wands, the Knight of Coins, and the Ace of Coins, it's like you guys are looking for It's like you're not working fast towards this, but you're working towards it. You are working towards it. You're taking your time with the with the Knight of Pentacles. You're taking your time, but you're taking your time because that's just there's no reason for you to rush here. I don't think there's a reason for you to rush. Eight of Wands page of coins and the seven of cups um you know i feel like a lot of you feel like that there's no reason for you guys to move quick here page of coins and the seven of cups i feel like you guys see things how you guys need to see them you guys are seeing the the real the real situation here okay okay i like that that's good that's good Page of Swords, Fairy King, Player, Father, Page of Swords. Why is the Page of Swords here? You have the Knight of Coins. Knight of Pentacles again. Okay, so I mean, I mean, this is, this is, you guys, are, there's an energy of you guys being very loyal here, very dedicated to something here. Ten of Cups, the Justice, and the Nine of Cups. I feel like you guys are, um, I feel like somebody might come and communicate and tell you, you know, that they're very loyal and dedicated to you here, to this energy here. Ten of Cups, the Justice, and the Nine of Cups. It's going to make you really happy here. They're going to tell you that you are their emotional fulfillment and, you know, that they're loyal and they're ready to wait for you here. And and if they will, and if they got to take it slow and study, then, then they will. But there's somebody here that is committed, okay, to you. Um, emotionally here with the Justice card, they're ready to set things right with you. I feel like you're going to start seeing things the way you're supposed to see them. With the Nine of Cups, it's going to make you really happy, whatever this person is going to come and tell you. And obviously, them telling you, you know, I'm here to stay is going to be amazing to hear. The Empress, very can clarify the Empress. Why is the Empress? A lot of you guys could be pregnant because I just keep seeing pregnancy. Okay, you have the Chariot. So I feel like I feel like this is I feel like this is gonna there's definitely coming. Like this person is coming. This is um you know, crossing each other, the cherry and the page of court swords. I feel like it's definitely coming with the Empress, King of Cups, Seven of Wands, and the Ten of Coins. I feel like I feel like whatever it is that you guys are creating, you guys are are very ready for this okay so don't be doubtful that you're not ready with the moon card don't be fearful that you're not ready here with the ten of coins you're you have everything that you need in your space and your energy to to create this life that you want to create for yourself you have it here you're emotionally stable and secure to do it with the king of cups but with the seven of wands it's like people could be oh i just saw 1818 for those of you who guys who like angel numbers. With the Seven of Wands, it's like you have people who are pushing your buttons here, who are going against what you want. And that could, you know, make you double guess or be like, is this even the right thing to do or what, whatever? Or is this even for me? Because people could be trying to manipulate you and to say, no, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. But Taurus, do how you feel. Don't listen to anybody else. This is your life, okay? This is your life two of swords it's like you're trying to make a decision but you must, your decision is blocked because you're listening to everybody else versus instead of listening to what's in here all right i'm going to clarify these so can you clarify the seven of wands eight of swords here yeah i mean you feel trapped it's like it's like you feel like you're in a mental prison here and you feel like you have to defend yourself off of people who are creating this energy off of you keep standing up for yourself Taurus. don't ever give up I just saw 1919. Holy macaroni. Eight of Wands, Barry. Can you clarify? King of Coins. Okay. I feel it's going to be communication. It's going to come in quick. Okay. It could be from an earth sign. All right. Fast movement, rapid excitement. It's, go it's, going to, it's going to be very stable. Whatever this fast movement is that's coming is going to be stable. Okay. The Magician in Reverse. Why is the Magician in Reverse here, Barry? You have the Queen of Swords. So Spirit is kind of saying like, with um with this person or this thing that's going to be here um in this manipulation energy 
they really want you to like really listen to this person and try to figure it out with the queen of swords figure out who it is that's manipulating you here a lot i feel like you guys don't know you guys don't know um so they want you to figure out who this person is and cut them out okay taurus um and you know obviously if you don't know who this is it's probably because it could be somebody close to you okay somebody who you would never think would do something like this to you they want you to figure it out and i think you can okay and just want to say that you're here taurus you're here giving yourself support you're here showing yourself you could do this so you could figure out who this is i believe in you taurus spirit what is the advice for taurus and i feel like that's why you have decisions at the bottom of the deck because you're going to have to decide once you figure out who this person is what you want to do with that connection with that person with that energy solitude all right i swear i feel like spirit is saying that they want you to spend some time alone they want you to take some rest time here because you could be doing a lot and i feel like you won't be able to see clearly what's in front of you until you take some time for yourself okay and then you have love all right so i feel like spirit wants you to move in the energy of love even when you find out who this person is here um still move with the move with the intention of love right don't be all right try to understand this person obviously manipulation isn't anything fun but you know that's, that's, why, that's why spirit wants you to figure it out because i feel like once you figure it out you're gonna know that there's more behind it to what it is that doesn't mean that you need to keep this person in your energy and be bffs no but understand that them doing what they did came from a bigger thing than you and you were kind of like caught in the middle of it um, and then you could decide what you want to do from there, okay? Because I, I feel like whoever this person is, it's like they're in your life with the love card. It's like I, I feel like it's somebody who was close to you, like I said before. And um, it's not going to be so easy for you to just be like, da, 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 da. And you can't just be like, fuck you type shit. Like, you can't. You can't. And then you have enlightenment here, okay? So I feel like you're going to get... I feel like you're in this process of learning new things here with the wisdom card you absolutely are you're learning what really makes you happy you're learning what is the path for you to go to here and spirit said just keep doing that just keep doing that and don't be afraid because that's what you're supposed to be doing right now i know that you're probably learning a lot of new things and finding out a lot of new things and it could be like whoa 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 right but change your perspective look at it as as like wow now i have this knowledge now i could prepare myself for what's coming right and then you have purification here, okay? So I do see crying needed, okay? If you guys aren't crying, get to it. <laughs> like, you guys need to shed. Shed those feelings that you have inside. And then you have focus. There's a need for you guys to focus on um, your energies in a certain area in your life. Because your energy could be everywhere. And Spirit kind of wants you to hone in onto one thing here at a time. All right, Taurus, well, that's all that I have for you today. I hope this brought some clarity or some insight into your situation. And yeah, Taurus, have a good day or a good night whenever you're watching this and stay positive.